What's up everyone, Andy Worski here. Fucking shit cock motherfucker, worst day ever. Worst, I hope you're having a great day and sitting down and chilling. I had the worst, I had the worst haircut of my fucking life. I had a great day in the morning. Ate breakfast, I masturbated, played some Bejeweled 3. Then I got a haircut, which was the longest experience of my life, first of all. And they fuck it up. Look at this shit. Look at that. Oh my god! It's like shaved right up here. I, I look like I was ab abducted by a fucking alien and they shaved the sides of my head to put tubes over here or something. What is this? And I, I apparently have a birthmark or whatever I've never even seen before. I walk in there and then all these ladies are huddled around some other ladies having her, her hair dyed. And I walk in like, uh, I'm thinking, is this place fucking closed? I'm like, uh, may I have a haircut? And one lady, new lady, I'm like, oh god, new lady, shit. I'll cut your hair, I'm like, oh, I don't want you to even look at me right now. I, will, I would rather you fall down some stairs. I'm not being harsh. I'm just saying, I, I'm used to the people I'm used to. And they like hired three new people there, so now it's like, free for fucking all. I have to call in advance. Oh yeah, I would like to set an appointment for my haircut. Guys' hairs aren't that important that we should be doing, uh, fucking calling in. Like, for ladies, I understand your hair is longer, you want layers and this and that, it takes about an hour. When a male haircut takes over a fucking hour and my balls were sweaty, I was sweating my motherfucking balls off. I brought jeans for some reason in this fucking horrible heat. And if you saw my last video, my balls were really sweaty. I was wearing shorts there and the ball water sweat was dripping down to my legs. So at least I had jeans which was absorbing it, which sort of makes you feel like you pissed your pants. So I'm sitting there with my pa pants basically pissed. And the lady's like, okay, we'll start on number four on your sides. I'm like, hey, no, I'll just, just start on number three. Okay, this, I, I know I want three on the sides, which is three is right now. She goes, no, we'll start on four and work our way down. She just starts doing four. I'm like, oh god. And then she, she, if she used four, my hair was 3.99. Like, I, I didn't even see the fucking hair on my neck. I'm just being tickled the whole time. I just want to punch her. I just want to be like, oh, fucking get off me. But I can't. Because that's a, a, assault or something in the law books. Thank you. Mayor Hazel McCallion for making assault illegal because I should have been able to assault someone. No, I'm, I know I sound abusive right now. I'm just upset. Okay, I wouldn't assault her. Murder? Maybe. Just joking. For the record. Okay, but look at this shit. Oh my, I have to wear a hat for like a week now. And I shaved my beard. I look so young. I'd rather look homeless. But when people start, oh, you look homeless now, oh, like, oh my god, you're so uncanny, oh, look at that beard, oh, look at this, oh, everyone has to mention the beard. The convenience store person, listen to me, sell me my cigarettes and don't talk about my fucking beard or I'll beat you right here behind the counter. Oh my god, and I paid for it, I paid for this haircut, I didn't notice. She didn't even put the mirror in the back. I didn't even know I'd be upset if she didn't do that. But I was just like, okay, fine. I'm just, I want to leave. I was there for an hour just tri trimming this hair. And she's snipping and she's using this comb with her... Okay, she combs up the hair. She went like this. And then puts the comb here in her pinky. And would let go of the comb. But doing it so fast, it's like this. It's slapping me in my face. And already at this point, I'm like, I'm going to make a video for sure about this horrible haircut experience. But, it starts slapping me here, I'm like, oh my god, like, I wonder if I could say it slapped me in the eye, I'm like, no, I, am, I, I only speak the truth when I say a story. But guess what happened by the third time? Hit me right in the fucking eye, I'm like, oh my god, are you serious? I thought being hit in the eye would sound so outrageous in the story, it's not even worth even mentioning it. But when it hits you, and it wasn't once, it was like 15 times, it's like, it's like, it's like being slapped with a dick on your face and you're being molested and you're stuck in this chair. Like when you're like tucked in with that fucking, uh, the coat thing that blocks the hair from heading here, which doesn't even work. It's all on my back. I have to have a shower after anyway. Fuck that place. Look at this shit. And I paid for it. I tipped her. I tipped her. She should be paying me to fuck up my hair.
cocksucker. Anyway, everyone, I was going to make a new series, which I was going to start tonight, but uh, tell me what you think of this really quick. I want to do a series where I review old video games and old movies uh, that are that ruin my childhood. Sort of like Angry Video Game Nerd or the Nostalgic Critic. Do you think it's a good idea? Would you enjoy that? I would incorporate some of the scenes of the movies and the games and also but I, I'd intertwine it. It would be a review, so pure legal to use. Uh, I just thought it's an idea. I want to do it. I already started one episode, uh, so if you don't want me to do it, then fuck you. I wasn't asking. I was just saying it out loud. But I love you all. Uh, I was I just had. A, I think I'm gonna just masturbate and play some more Beach Old Three because 